Our last look was getting more into detail of defining hypocrisy, realizing you can stumble into sin. That's not the same thing as pretending to live a certain way when in fact you're not. We looked at Ravi Zacharias and the tremendous damage that he has done to the church and the evangelical movement in our last uh, Stay the Course. We talked about the heavy load he carried, but today I want to talk a little bit about the damage that it does. I'll tell you the people that notice our hypocrisy more than anybody else. It's our family or it's our close friends. I've actually talked to children before that have said, my dad is an absolute phony in the pulpit. We've lived with it for years. He goes home and drinks heavy or he chews out my mom and stands up and talks about marriage in the pulpit. That kind of damage will cause a young person to say, I'm out of here. That's the type of person that says, I cannot wait to get out of the house. I cannot wait to chuck the faith. This holds no interest to me at all. I've seen this over and over and over again. When children see in the home a consistent righteous lifestyle carried out in action from the heart, no matter what takes place in college, it's very hard to rip that from them. They've watched it year after year after year. And they become hard-baked into that way of thinking because they've seen the reality of it. So we always have to consider the damage that we will do if we pretend to be something that we're not. Stay tuned for our final series in hypocrisy, dealing with society's evaluation of this. Thanks for watching.